Taggart. The gentleman is recognized for two minutes. I thank the gentleman for, for yielding. Mr. Speaker, I rise in opposition to this rule. I offered an amendment on, on Monday to address an injustice uh, against the members of our armed services that were shut out from consideration by this rule. Briefly, my amendment would have given an across-the-board pay raise of 5% to our military personnel. According to estimates made by the Congressional Research Service, the pay gap between military personnel and civilians in comparable positions is 3%. Given that the cost of living increase for 2010 is 2.9%, my amendment is an important first step uh, to addressing this problem. Uh, particularly during a recession, but really at any time, it is unacceptable that our men and women in uniform receive less than civilian counterparts. Recently, I was in Afghanistan and had the opportunities to see firsthand the professionalism and the commitment of our troops. Uh, what service they rendered to us? Why are we? Uh, why are they being treated this way? And, and I received assurances from the parliamentarian that my amendment was in order, and the Congressional Budget Office that it complies with all PAYGO requirements. I cannot understand why the majority would deny our troops the right to an up or down vote or at the very least an, uh, a debate uh, that would uh that would at least bring out the issues. If we, if we have time to debate an amendment that would require a study of the number of subcontractors used by the Department of Defense, we should have time to debate giving our troops a fair wage. Mr. Speaker, this is the second time that I've offered this amendment to increase the pay of our troops and the second time that it has been denied. I would urge my colleagues to oppose this, this rule and yield back the balance of my time. Gentleman yields back. Gentleman from Maine. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield two minutes to the gentleman from Ohio, a member of the committee.